What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Quick video. Son of Mexican legend Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. will now be training with Joe Goosen and Van Nuys at the Ten Goose Boxing Gym. Shout out to Ten Goose Boxing Gym. They follow me on Instagram. As far as my thoughts, I think this is a good look. I think Chavez Jr., he just really needs to solidify himself as a real fighter in, in terms of he's serious about his career. He has a lot of backlash. He has a lot of... Um, just people, fanatical people who, who don't like him. They don't feel he's doing his father any justice with the name and his performances and failing like the drug tests and stuff with diuretics and smoking weed, different things like that. So I think right now is a pivotal point in Chavez Jr. His career is, is do or die. So any type of change that will help him evolve to the next level is, is, is beneficial. He just recently had a daughter last year, but he's been out of the ring since last year. He avenged his win slash loss i thought he lost the first brian vera fight he he fought brian vera and he convincingly beat him this time in march of 2014 then he had legal trouble with top rank and we haven't heard from the guy since other than like on social media and stuff but we haven't seen him back in the ring so i think this is a good fit i think joe goose and joe goosen in his gym is is going to be a good look it's california as you guys know i'm in california up north and we always get good weather for the most part Today, I think it's around 73 degrees. They're down in SoCal, so a lot of times their weather's even better, a couple degrees warmer. So I think it's good. He can get his his like road work in. Um, there's not real, like I know other people like in Philly and different stuff that are fighters, and they're getting snowed in and different things like that. So he's not going to really too much have to worry about that, maybe an occasional earthquake or some shit. But I think location-wise, it's good. Um, Van Nuys, not many many distractions but unless you go to like la and stuff like that but i think it's a good look anything that'll help him take his career serious as, as far as upcoming fight i think that's also slept on andre funfara gave adonis stevenson probably his toughest fight in recent memory i mean he definitely did better than chad dawson who got knocked down the first round definitely did better than uh tavoris cloud who was once beaten even though he lost to campillo and they gave him the win so I think it's a good look, and I think the fight is better than people are, are giving it credit for. Funfara is also pretty tall. I think he's pushing 6'3", somewhere 6'2", 6'2 and a half, 6'3", somewhere around there. So for the first time, we're going to see Chavez in there with somebody who's about his size with a reach and height advantage. So I'm anxious, and he's been inactive, like I said in our, earlier in this video. So I think it's a good fight. Might be getting slept on because on the same night, Lucas Matisse is fighting Ruslan Provotnikov. And I mean, obviously, if I had to choose only one to watch, I would watch the Matisse Provodnikov just because of the type of fight. But by no means do I think the Funfara Chavez Jr. is not a good fight. And it's a new weight for Chavez Jr. Even though it's at a catch weight and he's big, he still has, he's been at, inactive and he hasn't fought at that weight. So there's a lot of dynamics. Let me know what you guys think. Joe Goosen will now be training Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and... He was with Freddie Roach. He left Freddie Roach in the wildcard gym. He had another trainer. I forget his name off the top of my head. And now he's with Joe Goosen. Let me know what you guys think of that fit. Good or is it bad? And do you think Funfara beats? Is there anyone that thinks Funfara has a shot in there and can beat Chavez Jr.? Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off.